Okay, thank you. Any more committee updates? <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you in public comment or you're a committee? No, she's a committee. <laughs> she's done. All right. Just to let everybody know, nomination papers are still available. Uh, we have one position for a selectman, which is three-year term, two positions for the school board, and both are a three-year term, one position for the Lubbock Water District, which is a three-year term, two positions for the Harbor Board Trustees, both are a three-year term, and three positions on the budget committee, one for a one-year term, one for a two-year term, and one for a three-year term. They have until June 24th to come in, pick up their papers, collect the signatures, and return the papers in by the the day on June 24th. They can pick up and, and return the same day? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you, Betty. And I'd like to point out once again that it is every citizen's responsibility as a member of the legislative body in the state of Maine to make an informed decision at an annual town meeting based on your involvement and knowledge of the business of your town. If you really want to get into it, take out papers and become a member of the team. If not, follow what's going on in your town so that when you attend an annual town meeting and you're deciding on the budget item, you know what you're talking about. Thank you. Okay, the next one I have is Memorial Day, veterans flags. Most of the flags have been placed out there right now. The American Legion members are going to finish up with Spill Hill, Old Chapel, and Wilcox. We have one cemetery, which is across from the airport that Mike's still trying to find. <laughs> well, may I just quickly interject? I want to thank Ezra Briggs. <laughs> it's over there somewhere. Right, I want to thank Ezra Briggs for assisting me in finding Jacob Gold's grave site on North Quebec Road. And he was a civil, oh, no, he was a Revolutionary War soldier, born in, in 1764. And if Ezra hadn't helped me, I'd still be out there. Is that, there. Is, is, that, is, that, is that up in the very end? Yeah, it's past the Oscar Linsky house the property in the, in the woods. Yeah, yeah right. I shot his still one time, but it's a white rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you, Ezra. Yeah. <laughs> Also, a thank you to the Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, as well as their family members and leaders, uh, Ryan, Tony, Robert, Alan, Gloria, Danny, and Brian. Also, Sarah Swallow, Robert Swallow, uh, Mike Scrivani, and Alex Murata, Murata for coming out and doing a great job this week getting the flags out. Um, we were out between Tuesday and today putting those out, so we've placed over 500 flags up there so far. And also thank you to Turek who has placed the flags on the American veterans who are buried over to Camp Bell. We have them in five cemeteries over there as well. Yes. And also the American Legion members when they get the rest of them finished up. Um, this is one of the most gratifying jobs that anybody can do. I mean, it's touching. Yep. In the rope there. Yep. Um, the veterans have done so much for us and our freedom. Amen. <clears throat> and one story was Tuesday night was a one of the Cub Scout members um, came and wanted to know if he could put the flag on his grandpa. Yep, that's wonderful, buddy. And his uncle. That's really nice. And I happen to know where both of them are. <laughs> 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 Amazing, I've been to all of them. Yeah. He went over and he was so proud. Yep, that's great. And his mother and his sister were there with him. So it became a family affair when he did it. Yep. And if anybody wants to come in and get the flag and put them on their own family members, Yes. By all means, do so. Well, it shows the point on pride, pride, pride in your own nation. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. What has been done, sir? Yeah, and I do have one complaint. Uh oh, a complaint. Is these markers are expensive. Yeah. This is bronze. This was done with a mower. There couldn't be much left to the mower when they were done. These oh. are expensive. Oh, yeah, they are. And yep. we've been trying to have the marker on all the graves. Oh. <laughs> and that there's this more used than to be that. Standing. Yeah. Oh yeah. So <coughs> last year after I replaced over twenty of these that were damaged like this. I've been able to get some poles to replace them, but luckily this is still in pretty good shape. But some of them aren't the chunks have been taken out of them. And these are expensive. Yeah. And we're trying to do something for our veterans, at least mark every one of their graves. So yeah. it's a lot easier to find 
I have oh. gone out and mapped a lot of them, as Mike can attest to, to find them, but some of the maps, some of the cemeteries, I haven't had a chance to get to them, so I just have a list, and it's easy yep. to go out and find these yep. weapons when you're doing it. Yep. Wow, that's not very nice at all. It's really destroying the bullet. I'm sure it wasn't yeah. malicious in that, but no, but it's just being ball. careful when you're going out yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. And also the Memorial Day program it will be on Monday, and it will be starting at the school at 9 a.m. From there, they'll go to the village cemetery, and there'll be a prayer and the um, placing of the wreath and shooting of the guns and the taps. Okay, and cool. then they'll go to the monument lot as well. We'll do the same thing there and then off to the bridge. And then we'll finish it up. I yeah. just want to say, I'm kind of embarrassed to say, but until last year, the only way I participated in the Memorial Day celebration was by hearing the gunshots going off when I'm in my home. Yeah. And I went last year and I, ta I still talk about it. It's so well done. Um, I'm getting emotional, like, buddy. It, um, I don't want to miss it. Yeah. You go around the town, thank all of our veterans, um, and the way that they put on the service is just really great. So, if you haven't been, go. If you go every year, thank you. The kids are involved. Um, the Legion. A lot of people are involved to make it happen mm -hmm. and. They really do a good job. And when Mike puts them up there, he stops and thanks every veteran who puts the flag down. By name. Yeah. We wouldn't experience what we have if it wasn't for their sacrifice. Yeah. And that's the plain and simple truth. Yeah. They were even down with some guys last year and they had me holding the flag and marching them. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is so important. <laughs> so they might put you to work, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, that's really nice. Thank you all for that report. And yeah. just one more thing we just found out today, the auditors will be here August 20th. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Looking forward to them. Yep. Uh, we'll be ready for them. It's just it's a busy time. Yeah. Yeah. They actually wanted to come the week between the annual town meeting and the first one and I said absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll shoot you on site. Yeah. Yeah. You won't get in. <laughs> I have one final comment to make, which is to remind people that this is the second meeting that we have been live streaming, the select board meeting, over the town website. So you viewers at home who have laptop computers and don't get Channel 7 can now watch the meetings live. There's instructions on the website, and just follow them, and if there's... Any feedback you want to send, there's a place on the website to contact us to let us know if it sounds good or the focus is off. Please feed back to us. We're holding up our end of the agreement to get the information to you, and you can tell us if it's working or not. Thank you. Well, I would say by looking at the camera, we've already had some feedback that says, yeah. speak, yeah. Up. Yeah. speak up. Speak <laughs> up. Uh-huh. Okay. Very good. Public comment. Anyone have anything? Have a comment for the poll. Thank you all for attending. Yes. A certain group that comes out and chooses to sit here and listen to us every night. We can appreciate it. We do indeed. Thank you. Thank you. And everybody in TV land. Yes. <laughs> or internet land. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're still with viewers, that way. Here you go. It tells them it all. Viewers. Okay. I make a motion that we go into executive session and discussion of personnel matters, social responsibilities pursuant to 1 MRSA 4056. Second. All in favor. Okay. Good night, folks. Thank you. Watch out for that fall. Is it five again? Uh, yep. Is it five five to go for that memorial evening, buddy? Is it five five? Yeah. The fireman? Yeah, you got it. Oh. <laughs> huh? Yeah.